just like in a white tail, like you said, you could rattle and they'll come in. You're not going to carry around two elk shed to mm -hmm. try to rattle. No. But you <laughs> can go ahead and what? you can make a whole bunch of messy noise on brush yep. and make yeah. it like they're raking the trees and they're doing stuff like that. That will get them excited also besides your calling. So that's mm -hmm. kind of cool. Sometimes just raking is better yep. than calling. Yeah. Because they don't know what it is. They want to come and find out what's <clears throat> yep. doing it. I know like at RNK usually when I'm hunting with Blake, yep. as we're as he's calling or going through, we'll actually step on some branches, make some noise. Yes, right. So it, it replicates that sound of an elk you, walking through the timber. Do you know what I learned years ago from Fern? From up at um, Cashaboy Outpost? And he's like, be breaking branches. But he said, you know, when you're going to break a branch, you step on it. If it doesn't snap, then you got to pick it up and break it. But you always want to break it down, not up. Because it sounds makes it different. Diff it sounds different, yeah. and elk aren't going to break branches up. That's Moves very true. You step on them, and they break down, and that's what we want. Yeah. Remember that? Yep. Oh, I do. Huh. Thank you, Fern. You learn from everybody. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their own Just got to be willing yep. to learn. Yes, Absolutely. that's right.